welcome back to Forza Horizon 3. We are finishing off in Australia, technically on the Hot Wheels Island, with our build series revisits. And yes, Hot Wheels. This is a Ford Falcon XR8. Imagine if you took a Ford Fusion and put a Mustang engine in it and rear wheel drive. That's basically what this is, only a lot better. Now, I was going to use a Lotus, but then I realized that A, this isn't in any Forza games after this, except from except for Motorsport 7. And B, it would allow us to continue the Holden Ford rivalry. Cause Holden, the Holden Commodore Group A specifically, won this series by smashing the lap time record around our circuit. Just humiliated it because it had like 730 horsepower and weighed 2,500 pounds and it could still handle. I'm not sure if this is going to beat that because yeah, it's more modern, but it's going to be heavier. It's going to probably be as powerful, but the power weight ratio is not going to be up to par. But we're still going to give it a good go. I'm not going to put the touring car parts on because it adds weight, and I don't know why you would do that. But we are going to put the Hot Wheels racing tires on. You see, we're already in the S1 class. We're already in it, and we're not even at 450 horsepower yet. You know, decent-sized tires. What if we... I will go for a racing gearbox because this thing requires very long gear ratios. It's very high speed. I don't want it buzzing at the limiter. So I'm going to put that on. I normally don't do that because it adds PI, but there you go. I'm going to put all this stuff on because we do want it to handle. It's a big old boat of a sedan. We're going to drop the weight as much as we can, which is not as much as I would like, let's be frank. So we're going to try and take some more out with that. Does the supercharger remove weight? No, but it adds 100 horsepower. I think that's probably worth it. And besides, we can take out weight with that. And with that, I mean, can not add any weight, but, ah, oh. One PI. Okay, all right, all right, all right. One PI. Where can I lose an PI? Maybe you. No, that doesn't add enough weight. None of the Zat. Goddamn. Come on! Wait, I know where I can add more weight. Ugh. Really? Is there no way that I can... That'll do it, but I don't really want to do that. Ah, oh, that's annoying. That's really annoying, actually. Oh. There we go. <laughs> Cuts the weight down and it reduces the PI. And it's only by one, so it probably won't make that much of a difference in the handling department. There we go. 755 horsepower, 3,200 pounds. I don't know how this is going to fare. It's got pretty much the exact same horsepower and torque as the Holden, but it weighs 600, 800 pounds more. Hopefully it's better handling. I don't think it is, though. Okay, we are here at Supercharged Summit Circuit, trying to beat a 114.5, roughly, from that ridiculous Holden. In fact, that Holden, when I was doing my practice for this, because I always do practice beforehand to make sure I'm still up to par, uh, it's apparently the 42nd fastest car ever to lap around this track in the world. Yeah, it's my only top 50 in any Horizon game or Forza game I've ever done. I've done a lot of circuits. I've done a lot of race tracks. I'm very good at a lot of circuits. But this is the only racetrack in any Forza game ever that I've gotten top 50 in the world. There we go. Oh, now this definitely has the speed. It definitely has the speed. Whether or not it will have the handling, I do not know. It's more modern. It's almost 20 years newer. In fact, it might be exactly 20 years newer than the, than the Holden. Ugh, I'm moving off center. Ugh. 
I will be counting 30 laps, FYI. This lap obviously is not going to be the quickest. It's the starting lap, so it's not even counted. Because you have five flying and one starting. But... Okay, now if we can just streamline through there. That's good. We need to be a little bit braver. But that is the way to do it. It gets a very fine line through there. And there we go. I like how this drives. It has very good traction. It's weighing 755 horsepower. I mean, it's as much power as a brand new ZR1. Or 2019 brand new CR ZR1. And it's got a pretty good top speed. It's not... Thank you for that wonderful piece of information and giving me a mild heart attack thinking my game was about to crash. I was about to... I get it! Apparently the server issue has been resolved very quickly. Okay, let's, let's do this. Let's not get interrupted by Forza anymore. Let's not muck about. We want, yeah, they're here for the landing and then immediately shift up into Forza, give us that best power band. Stick it high up here. Try and carry the speed on the way down. Very good, 180. I probably need to shift up, actually. I don't really shift up there, but there we go. That's a new place. Normally I just leave it in fourth or whatever gear I start in. But this one, I, I carry so much speed, I actually need to shift up. I think that gearbox upgrade was very, very good in the long run. A little bit of oversteer. There we go, not too terrible. Okay, let's see, this is a half-decent time. We can see how it compares to the 114. It's a little bit slow, it's a little bit off the pace, but it's certainly not going to be a terrible time. 116.2, that's, that's good, that's in the top 10 if I recall. Uh, I shifted down one too many, that wasn't great. Yeah, that's a, this is a very high speed track and that leaves you with very little margin for error. Also shifted up one too many times there. I'm just trying to get a feel for the track. I have until lap six. Lap six is my final lap. So I just gotta get that feeling right so I can get a proper lap. Shift it up in the fifth, give it a whirl. You see, I don't, I'm torn, I think I need it, but I might not. It depends on the run, I guess. Depends on the run that I get around there. Whether or not I'm carrying enough speed to justify going in the fifth before the jump. Okay, I'm gonna try to be smooth in here. Be smooth. Nope, I... Yep, yeah, ow, 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 ow. Yeah, that that's the risk with that section. You can play pinball with that, because if you're just a millimeter off, you're just gonna die. Okay, there we go. There we go. And good shifts there. We have to carry more speed than last time. We need to carry nice late apex there. 218 miles an hour. That's the fastest we've gotten so far. And we got on the brakes though. We don't shift down one too many. We locked up a little bit. And we got a little bit of overseer. That was unexpected. I guess I just tried to rotate a bit too much. Again, 30 laps are not a Problem. Why are you doing that, though? No, they're not. Stop floating. Stop floating. God damn it. <laughs> We're up here now. Yeah, sometimes the game physics bug out, and it can't decide what to do on these on these half pipes, and it just sort of makes you float like Harry Potter. Well, this lap is very invalidated now, unfortunately. That was a very good start to the lap, too, god damn it. But it just, it just flew cockeyed, and I don't think I did anything wrong. I think it just flew cockeyed that time. Disappointing. That is how you do that braking zone, up until you miss it. But that threading the needle is absolutely perfect if you just get on the brakes as you're threading it. And then you end up on the wrong side of this, but that's theoretically how you do it. And then double shift in the fifth. There we go. Okay, here we go, come on. This is where we make it up. This is our lap. We got two more to go. We're not quite at 218, but 217 is fine. We're actually out accelerating the, I guess, Holden. That's really the phone shaker, but come on. We got some understeer there. Ugh. It doesn't like that turn one. It doesn't like it at all. 
Alright, that's a better launch. That's a better jump. We didn't get cockeyed. We got a good landing. Shift it back up into fourth after losing some speed from there. Okay. That was good. Now just keep doing that, please. There we go. There we go. That's when you shift up. That's the run that we wanted. That's the run that we wanted. We carried 184 on the exit of that, which is very good. We lose quite a bit of speed up there, though a little bit too much speed, if I'm honest. Oh, come on. Concentration. That'll work. That's good. Turn. Thank you. I don't tell you what, I don't think this car is gonna win, but I think that it's gonna be a pretty decent lap. There we go. Final lap. Can we get it all squared away? How was that slower than the beginning? How is that possible? <laughs> Come on, there we go. A little bit of a slide on the exit. Don't think it cost us too much. 174. That was the best one yet. Ooh, okay. We lost the wing. It's only cosmetic. Doesn't matter. We're going to stay on the nice smooth part. Not lose any speed. I'm going to carry it down and turn in. There we go. Yes, that was perfect through there. All right, now it's time for concentration. This is where you go silent. And you just focus. Yeah, okay. Some of you will probably say that it's cheating. I mean, I'm doing the best I can here. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, it's not going to beat the... It's not going to beat the Commodore, but it's going to give a pretty good run nonetheless. And 116 one is very consistent. It's very consistent. It just, it just isn't quite there. It has potential, but it's not quite going to be enough. And that was a pretty darn good run on that last attempt. That was pretty darn good. So, let's see where that places it on the table. And it's time of 116-176. We'll put it in the fifth place. It's just behind the napalm note that did a 115-8. But it is a second down, almost exactly on that hold and that holding was insane it's also a little bit down on the jaguar c type or d type sorry and it's a little bit down on the c63 if you're wondering why those have asterisks next to them it's because the, ja the jag was rerun after having converted back to rear drive and the c63 was actually bone stock from forza as one of the forza builds so yeah i mean it beats the lotus carlton it beats a lot of cars it it's you know, top 5 out of 50, that's not a bad thing, <laughs> that's a very good run, it's by far the, if you exclude the C63, which is tuned by Forza, to do what they want, it was the fastest of the modern cars, if you will, the fastest modern build, and yeah, it handled well, I just don't think it had the overall grip, the turn in, a high speed turn in, because you need to carry about 110 through that first corner, for example. It couldn't do that. It just didn't have the same grip. It had the same power as the Commodore. It had the same level of traction, but it did not have that lightweight agility that made the Commodore so good under brakes and so good through the corners. But all in all, I'm pretty impressed. I It did a lot better than I thought. These new cars, especially the new at the sedans, tend to struggle just because... The PI gets eaten up by the new advancements in technology, the grip, if you will. So, when you build them, they generally don't do very well. But this, I think it did alright. I like how it drove, and... Well, sure, it's not going to challenge the Commodore or the C63. It gave the rest of the list a pretty good run for its money. But that will be it for Forza Horizon 3, and I will see you in Horizon 4.